well, we've got our new five acre property and I want to design it with uh, permaculture in mind. And a big part of that is the water flow. Water flow design. I'm here right next to the house. If you see that little silver line down there, that's Lake Champlain. So the property is going on a real gradual slope. Um, in the main part, it's just about two degrees of an angle. And um, pretty, pretty flat. Now we come off of a hill, there's a hill up there, but there's a road um, coming right in front of our property here. So we're not getting really much water uh, coming down off of the hill um, because there's a lot of drainage in between here and there. But we should be getting some maybe groundwater. Um, I can't do any, anything much on this side because this is where our power and water and uh, sewer line goes. So we've got a septic tank right here, but there's also a pump station and it pumps up out of here. So I'm not digging on this side of the property at all. So the first place that I could put some water catchment is going to be down here. And it's uh, still a good high spot. So that is probably area number one for uh, retaining water and then uh, charging our watershed here for it to be released down into the main part of our gardens, which will be right down in here in the middle. So this is kind of the flat area that we can grow in and so the other uh, slope is on this side and I am thinking about taking advantage of the drainage and slope that's already here so we've got some invasives There's a fire weed fire bush whatever a uh, callow pear We've got the drain that comes from under the driveway here. And so uh, comes into this little depression right here. We're still kind of at the top of the property. So I'm thinking to make this uh, a pond right in here. Right now it's just a lot of um, dead ash and invasive grape and buckthorn. So that's a nice area and there are some big nice maple and oak trees just over here. So we'll kind of replant this around the pond. And then that's giving me at least a little height to have that water again, seep and recharge the landscape. So I'm not sure what that would do to our path here, but that's what we're working with in terms of having high ground and low ground. So it's coming off of this just very small hill and going down into the landscape before it goes down toward the lake and to the marshes by the lake. So we'd love to know what you think. Um, oh, there's another aspect to this, which is the drains off of the house come down here. Got a nice hemlock on my planet there, so. We had some rain yesterday. The drain comes off the house here. So this could be another area where we, we have water staged. There's a drain right there and another one right here. So maybe that's something that would be re-engineered and make this a another water catchment. So we have pond, 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 and that would give us water being captured on all sides of our property, flowing down into here, and then being distributed into our gardens right here. So uh, there's there are other aspects too. There's a big drain um, that goes down the whole side of the property that I pointed out in the previous video. And uh, there's another place we could put a pond in the back on that side. There is another drain that also goes down the side of this this side of the property. Um, although when we get down there, we're in the lakeshore zone, which is an area we're not supposed to develop at all. And so I'm no 
what we'll do on that side, if anything. So, um, would love to know what any uh, hydrologists think, any permaculture experts. This is my idea so far.